lovelies, I hope you're all well. So just like with desktop, Design Space for iOS, so that's iPad and iPhone, also has lots of image filters to make it a lot easier when searching for an image. As we know, we can put an image search in and we can literally get hundreds, if not thousands of results. And sometimes it can take a long time to go through those images. So just like with desktop, the iOS app has got some really great filters. So I'm in my image search and you can see along the top here, we've got this toggle icon. We're going to open that up and it will take us to all our filters. So my favourite or they're becoming my favourite filters is categories. They're not something I used a lot before but I am starting to use them more and more because they're really good to work with. So if we open up the categories filter just by clicking on all we can then see we've got lots of different categories here. We've got highlighted categories, which is featured, recently added, free this week, and image sets. I use the image sets category an awful lot. We've then got all these different categories like occasions, themes, trending, people and places, shapes, and then each of those have got their own categories within them. So for example, let's put in holidays. And you'll see when we select holidays, we get a little green tick next to it. Now to go back to the search, we're just going to select the back arrow. And when we select back, you'll then see we've got subcategory. So we can select all on subcategory and then we can really start narrowing it down. So we've got 4th of July, Canada Day, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, Hanukkah, Mother's Day, other holidays, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Veterans Day. There's a lot of subcategories in there. We're going to select Easter and again you'll see we get a little tick. We can then select back and then back again, and it will then bring up all the images within the holiday category that then is covered by Easter. So we've narrowed down the images straight away just by changing our category search. If I want to change my filters, I can just select the toggle again. I want to get rid of the holidays category, so I can simply select holidays. And then in categories, I can bring back all and it will then return me to a full image search. There's other filters that I can play with as well. So again, if we open up the filters toggle, you'll see we've got free or saved images. We've got the operation type. So cut only images, draw only images, print then cut and cut and draw. These are my most used filters. So for example, if I know that I want to do something with the foil tip, for example, I will select draw only images so that I'm not getting those double lines. I'm not a big fan of those with the foil tip. I much prefer working with single line images and fonts. Equally, if I'm going to draw something, I tend to only use draw images unless I know that I'm going to colour in the lines. So the draw filter is really great. We've then got layers, so single or multi. You can do project type, so 3D cards, phrases. I don't tend to use this an awful lot, but it is good if you know that you specifically want an image that's been tailor-made for that type of project. Again, we've got material. This isn't one I use a lot because a lot of the images can be used across a variety of materials. But equally, they're really good for narrowing down images specifically for that material. So for example, chipboard, if we go back, we can then see the images that have been made specifically for chipboard. We've got language as well. So as we know, Design Space is always adding new images and they're really kind of pushing their language images at the moment. They're bringing in a lot more languages. So we've got American Sign Language, Dutch, Finnish, German, Hawaiian, Japanese, Norwegian, Russian, 
And I'm sure we'll see more and more come in. Ownership, so images that you've purchased via Design Space and also images that you've uploaded as well. Images that you've downloaded, so images that you've made available for offline use. And of course, licensed content. So at the moment, we've just been getting some Warner Brothers licensed content here in the UK. And who knows what the future will bring with that. So as we start to see more licensed content, hopefully in the future, we'll have more options to choose from. The filters are really, really handy and useful because they will dramatically reduce your image search down. As I say, the categories are something that we should all be using a lot more because they are super handy. So my one of my kind of New Year's resolutions this year was to use the categories more. And I have to say, it's making my searches a lot quicker and a lot easier. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.